Welcome to my video about how to draw a ray diagram for a converging lens. So, the question might read something like, an object 2 cm high is placed 8 cm from a lens of focal length 2 cm. So your first job is to draw in the principal axis. And need your ruler for this. Draw a nice solid line for your principal axis. Second job is to draw in the lens. Now I'd always go for doing this right in the middle of the page and then it gives you space to work on either side. And as we've got a converging lens, we should draw it with a symbol of the two arrowheads like that, which sort of shows the shape of a converging lens. Okay, the next thing to do is to mark on the focus. And here it tells us that the focal length is two centimeters. So I'm going to count one, two centimeters away, put a little X, mark that F for the focus. The next thing to do is to mark on the object. And here it says an object two centimeter size placed eight centimeters from the lens. So we'd count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight centimeters and it tells us that the object is two centimeters high so my object is going to look like that generally we use a little arrowhead on our object to make it clear which way up the object is and i'll label that object okay so to make our ray diagram we need to consider what happens to two special rays and the first one we'll consider is one which goes parallel to the principal axis towards the lens from the top of the object. So we'll draw a line along parallel to the principal axis and then when we should put an arrow on that because it's a real ray and then when it reaches the lens it refracts and will pass through the focus so then we need to draw a line from where it hits the center of the lens to where it goes through the focus and we put another arrow on that. So that's our first special ray drawn in. Our second special ray is the one that goes from the top of the object right through the center of the lens. And this one is special because it doesn't refract, it doesn't change direction. So this one we can do in one big go straight through and put an arrow on it, even maybe put another arrow on it over here. So, now we can work out where the image forms. And the tip of the arrowhead on the image will be where these two rays cross, because these two rays started from the same point on the object, so where they cross will form that point of the image. So then we can draw on this arrow, Head, and then that will go back to the principal axis which gives us where our image is formed and we'll label that the image and from this you can see that the image formed in this case is inverted upside down because the arrow is pointing down now is diminished it's smaller than the original object and we can tell that it's real because it's formed where real rays cross we could then go on to work out the magnification and the magnification we'd get by doing the image height which in this case we can see is six millimeters divided by the object height which was 20 millimeters which would give us a magnification of 0 0.3 and the magnification doesn't have any units because it's a ratio of two distances.